Assalamualaikum. In this video lecture, I am going to describe how you can write operator for a property or an observable. Okay. In this video, I am going to describe the rules for writing the operators for a physical property. Okay. So, for example, if I take uh, the expression for kinetic energy is equal to half mv square the first rule says that first of all i have to write the classical expression for the property under consideration since i want to write kinetic energy in terms of an operator so first of all according to rule one i'll have to write the, the classical expression for kinetic energy that says kinetic energy is equal to half mv x square okay since we are taking the motion in one direction x so i can say that kinetic energy is equal to half mv x square so if i multiply the right hand side of the equation and divide the right hand side of equation by m okay i have to multiply and divide the right hand side of the right hand side of the equation by m the answer comes out to be equal to i'm going to describe it here if i multiply and divide the right hand side of the equation the answer comes out to be just like this okay so m and m here becomes m square divided by m vx square okay this vx square has just come down here so the next thing that you know p of x the momentum p of x is equal to mv of x you know the formula the, the formula for momentum is p of x is equal to mvx so i have i saw so now i'm going to put this value of px here since it is the square so i can write p x square here and divided by m so i can say that p x square divided by 2 m is an other form is an other equation for kinetic energy so kinetic energy can be represented by two formulas the first formula is half mv square and the second formula is p x square over 2 m okay so the rule number second says wherever possible substitute for quantum mechanical fundamental operator wherever possible we have to substitute the fundamental operator we have to substitute the mechanical operator so taking this part this uh, equation for kinetic energy the kinetic energy equation says kinetic energy is equal to p x square divided by 2 m okay as you know that here p is momentum and the p the, uh, the operator for momentum is represented by p of x with a cap okay and kinetic energy operator is represented by t cap okay so i can write it as t cap is equal to p of x cap divided by 2 m so this is my equation in terms of the operators okay the next thing that my rule number two says that i have to substitute for the operator so now i am going to put the value of p x so on putting the value of p x i get an answer equal to minus iota h cut curly over curly x whole square okay so here h cut has a value h over 2 pi so substituting this h cut value here i get an answer equal to 1 over 2 m minus iota h over 2 pi curly over curly x whole square so square of aorta becomes equal to minus one first of all i will just substitute the square here okay the substitute the square for iota becomes minus one and minus on multiplying with this minus the answer comes out to be positive so this minus here is consumed i repeat that iota square has a value iota square has a value equal to minus one so square when given to iota i get an answer minus one so this minus one in uh, here multiplies with this minus and the minus is consumed okay so the next thing that i'm going to put is square going into here so h square divided by two square becomes four four pi square curly square d square over dx square okay so i can write it just like that so the next thing is uh, the equation becomes equal to h square divided by 4 to the 8 pi square m d over dx square okay so this here is my equation of kinetic energy in terms of operator okay so here is the t cap since it is the operator so i have to i have to add a cap here so the next thing if i want to write the operator for potential energy so, so first of all i will have to write potential energy is equal to minus e square divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r 
so if i want to describe it in the forms of in the form of an operator the potential energy has an operator equal to v cap so i'll write v cap here minus e square divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r cap so this is how i can represent the potential energy in terms of operator so these are the two rules for writing the operators the first rule says that first of all i have to write a classical expression and then i'll have to substitute the value of the operator okay just like i have shown you in this derivation here so this was all for today's video inshallah see you in the next video